Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, Master of Health and Longevity and Creator of Modern Health Myths. And today we're going to continue our discussion about blood pressure control. Uh, in case you've missed some of the other videos that I've posted, quite a few videos I've posted on this topic, you'll, uh, if you've watched them, you know that I'm not a big fan of the DASH diet, the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This is principally focused on a low sodium diet. And this is generally the diet that most doctors will give to their patients to help them lower blood pressure. Well, it sucks. And if this is the best tool that we have to lower blood pressure, it's no wonder that most doctors think that diet and exercise is not going to help with blood pressure because the tools that they're using pretty much suck. And it has very little to do with cutting, um, cutting sodium. Probably has more to do with some of the foods in the diet have higher potassium, which is going to be um, it is going to be good for blood pressure. But principally, blood pressure control has everything to do with prediabetes and very little to do with salt intake. So just to drive this point home, in case you think that I'm really don't know what I'm talking about, this particular study was a uh, what they call a, um, a meta-analysis. So the researchers looked at 30 different trials on the DASH diet and totaled a little over 5,500 patients. So this is a very large review of a bunch of different studies to see how well it worked. The positive thing is that the diet worked for people with high blood pressure and people without blood high blood pressure. So it dropped their blood pressure whether they had high blood pressure or not. So that sounds like a good thing. And so you're sitting there, you, your blood pressure is 160 over 98, and you want to drop it down, and you, your doctor, who doesn't read medical literature, but read somewhere that maybe the DASH diet would be good for you, and, and it's effective. And so how much can you expect to lose in in looking at all these studies, 5,500 patients, systolic, so the top number, the average drop was 3.2 points. <laughs> so 3.2, like this much. And the diastolic drop was 2.5. So it sucks. This doesn't do anything to lower your blood pressure. And this is the diet tool that most doctors are giving their patients with high blood pressure to help them control the high blood pressure. It's not going to work. Um, this diet principally focuses on sodium intake and does not focus on the real problems with high blood pressure that deal with things like prediabetes and how that um, drastically affects the health of the blood vessels. So as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comment section. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who has high blood pressure and thinks the DASH diet is the best thing since sliced whole grain bread and subscribe to the channel.